Did you ever go to summer camp when you were a kid? Usually you didn't know anybody, you didn't really know what to expect from day to day, but by the end of it, you made a bunch of friends, you exchanged numbers so that you would hopefully keep in contact after the fact. What if I told you that you can do that as an adult and figure skating? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jada and this is Jada Solo Dances. I'm here to teach you how to break out of your comfort zone by becoming an adult figure skater. When I first started skating, I actually was really surprised to hear that there were skating camps, let alone ones for adults. For kids, there are recreational camps that operate more like day camps. There are more skill-based camps uh, for those who just want to increase their skills. There are specialty camps like the solo ice dance camp. There are high performance camps for those who are preparing for the upcoming uh, competition season. And there's adults! which you can honestly kind of get whatever you need out of an adult camp. So in this video, I'm going to list the general idea of what most adult camps offer, and then I'll give you a couple of ideas on camps here in the US that you might be able to get your camp fix. So in general, adult camps are social first and then figure skating. They're mostly for people who want to build a community within figure skating, not necessarily those who already have one or have like a pretty good structure where they live. Maybe you don't have a ton of adults where you skate or maybe you just want an excuse to use your vacation days. The adult camps uh, have pretty much everything. They have edge drills, they have jump and spin clinics, you can work on your footwork, you can work on ice dance, usually there's a social dance opportunity to a lot of these camps. And there's also sometimes exhibitions and let's not forget about happy hour because like I said, these things are mostly social events. Not only are they a great opportunity to meet people, but you can also get really immersed in figure skating with other people like you for a few days. I've seen camps from anywhere from one day to an entire seven day retreat. Unfortunately, these things do cost you. The average three day camp runs for about $300 to $400 and that's just the registration fee, not including the additional things that your camp might provide. I've always spent close to $1,000 or more on the entire adventure, including travel, lodging, food outside of the program, and anything additional that I might have wanted to participate in. So it's definitely not for those who are on a super budget, but it is a cool opportunity and I have met a lot of people through the one camp that I've attended so far. So if you're willing to basically replace your vacation money with a figure skating camp, continue watching to learn about four really cool camps here in the US that you might be interested in. So this first one is really close to my heart and it's because I'm actually going this year. It's American Ice Skaters Adult Skate Away in Austin, Texas, taking place at the end of September. 2022 is the second time that they're actually doing it and I'm very excited that I actually get to go this year. I was in grad school, I don't know if you guys knew, um, so I could not go anywhere and I could not afford anything, but I have money, I have a job, I have time. And it's also over the weekend, so I'm really excited that I pretty much only have to take about maybe half a day off or so just for travel and I am jazzed. I'm jazzed to go somewhere, especially after the absolute hell that the last two years have been in grad school in a pandemic. If you're unfamiliar with AIT, their mission is to empower and nurture authentic contemporary skating by providing opportunities for education, performance, and outreach. Contemporary skating is kind of like contemporary dancing. It focuses a lot on breaking traditional movement patterns and shapes. I hope for all of us here that we begin to get back in touch with that inner artist Contemporary movement for skaters is really important for them to be able to feel free and authentic and human. This camp is more of a retreat than a traditional skating camp. It gives adults the opportunity to express ourselves in ways that we don't normally have the chance to in our day-to-day -day lives as skaters. They're skating and choreography, sure, just like every other camp, but Rather than just focusing on skill, there's a lot of holistic development that this camp focuses on. There's mindfulness, off-ice contemporary dancing, improv techniques, and just general self-awareness. There are very few entities of figure skating that I respect as much as I do AIT, and therefore I think this is a really great camp if you're just 
into something different, if you're looking for something different, if you're burnt out of the traditional skating structure, I think this might be a really good opportunity for you. And if you go this year, you get to meet me. So I don't know how you feel about that, but I think that's really cool. You can still get the full package for $300 plus a couple of extra things that you might want to participate in. I don't get any money or fame for referring to these guys, but I really just am excited that this exists for adults and I think that they're we are sorely lacking in the alternative uh, figure skating structures outside of US figure skating uh, for adults specifically. So I really enjoy just having this opportunity to be more creative. I hope to see you guys there if you are super interested. This next one is a general fan favorite. It's the Lake Placid Adult Skating Week. If you just want to skate and you really don't want to do any of the touchy-feely stuff, this one is for you. Essentially, you book all of your ice time ahead of time and you schedule your classes when you get to the box. This camp is pretty contingent on who shows up and because they don't know until the day of, it's really hard to plan around uh, levels and things so you might find that particular classes are a bit above your level or below your level depending on what your expectations are. So manage our expectations. All that really means is that this is the perfect camp for those who are relative beginners uh, to the sport somewhere. Maybe you just finished your learn to skate and you're in kind of pre-bronze, bronze area, maybe early silver. I would not necessarily, based on recommendations that I've heard from people, I would not recommend this to people who are well into their silver, free skate, or above. This might just be not a great opportunity and a good use of money for you, particularly considering Lake Placid's kind of hard to get to, although I did hear that the Amtrak train from New York City is pretty cool. One of the caveats for this is that I don't really know what the end cost ends up being once you include the group lesson prices because you're coming in at just $375 for 7 days, $210 for 3 or $80 for 1. When you include the group lesson cost, that's going to be more than that and then you have to add the additional things to get there and stay there. So this might end up, end up being a little bit more than you were anticipating and there's no real information on the website so unfortunately I can't really tell. Think about all the ice time you get, there are hours and hours of ice time you get across the day and if you're someone who literally just wants to take a vacation and skate every day, all day, maybe with some breaks and some warm ups and the cool downs because you will get injured, trust me, I am the first one to tell you what happens when you don't warm up and cool down properly. And at the end of the week, uh, if you stay, you can participate in the exhibition if you have a program you want to show off or anything else that you might have worked on during the week. And I think it's just a really cool vibe. I know the people who went there thought it was really nice and a, a big sense of camaraderie. And a lot of people talk about it um, as a, sorry, as a uh, way of getting away from the realities of adulthood. This camp usually happens around August so it's a really good opportunity as we're winding down off of the summer if you want to use your vacation days to choose your own adventure. This next one has actually changed a lot over the last few years and I feel very privileged to say that I attended one of those iterations. It is the Music City International Adult Skating Camp. This camp is in Nashville, Tennessee at a really beautiful facility. It's the Fordyce Center Bellevue. I've never been to that one in person, but I have been to the one in Antioch just a few miles away. And coming from an area where skating rinks are really old and really established and they're hockey centric, it was just so nice to go somewhere where you have honestly Scott Hamilton begging people to make the ice soft and hospitable to figure skaters, and it's just a really nice place to be. This state-of-the-art facility means that you do all of your programming inside. They have rooms to do your off-ice, they have locker rooms, there are multiple ice pads. This is the closest that you'll probably get to a exclusively skills camp. You have your moves, your dance, your spins, your jumps, step sequence, figures, off-ice, stamina trading, choreography. It's literally everything you would possibly need as a figure skater in general, regardless of if you're an adult or not. What looks different to me now compared to when I went in 2019 to the Sharp for Sport version is the absence of forcing folks down a track. That didn't really make too much sense. I went down the dance track, which didn't make a lot of sense considering they leveled the free skate tracks and they kind of dumped all the dancers into one. So while I was pretty much just on my pre-bronze dances at this point, I was paired with people who were easily doing 
silvers and pre-golds and it just was not balanced and so there were a lot of instances where I couldn't do a lot of the things that were offered even though I was like, you know, a early intermediate skater at that point, but it was just really rough. And so a lot of people ended up kind of just hopping from session to session as they saw fit. So it really was just nice to see that they kind of just let people choose where they want to be during certain times and make it a lot more free flowing, especially because as adults, I feel like we focus a lot on different parts of our skating rather than what maybe some standard skaters younger uh, focus on. This camp is typically held in the spring. I attended it in August of 2019, but it looks like they're going for a May date now. I don't know what it looks like for next year, if it will exist. It comes out to $400 for three days, so it is kind of on that pricier side for the three-day camp, but you do get a lot of stuff you get swag, you get to meet people, you have a lot of opportunity to work with really skilled coaches, and I think it's just a good vibe, and I think it's honestly just worth it to skate at the Ford Ice Center if you have to find a reason to go all the way to Nashville to skate. This last one has a cult following, so I felt like I should save it for last. It is the Sun Valley Adult Skaters Week. This is another August camp in a really strange part of the country. It's in Idaho, which I don't know about you guys, but I never pegged as Idaho as being the home for one of the state-of-the-art outdoor facilities. It's a really pretty rink, though. I would love to skate there one day. I'm probably not ever going to go to this camp, if I'm honest with you, only because it's $725 flat fee. You get to skate all day and you get to meet a lot of people and work with a lot of coaches in different skill sets. But I just don't ever know if I'm ever going to want to spend $700 on programming without coming into contact with food or any of the other stuff that happens when you travel away from home, basically. But you do get access to a social on ice classes, off ice classes, freestyle sessions, and there is an exhibition at the end. Sometimes they've brought really famous skaters in at the end to surprise people. Lots of elite skaters have popped up to perform or practice. And you also honestly just get to take really pretty pictures of a really cool place. Just because I wouldn't necessarily go because it's really pricey, I didn't want you guys to not know about it because I think it really is kind of the camp that people talk about in adult skating, so this list would just be incomplete without giving it a mention. Now there are a lot of things that I would love to talk about when it comes to skating camps. I mean, just what to bring, what to expect, what kinds of things should you be doing in preparation for it. And then just like my general experience in being at camps, but those are going to have to wait because that is going to take way more time than we have in this video and it's already getting kind of long. So if you want to hear more about my skating camp adventures, please leave a comment below, like, and subscribe to learn more about adult beginner friendly content about figure skating. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok and I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.